Hello, 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 hello. Okay, I want to share this with you guys. I'm in the process of working in the bathroom at the apartment over here in Heightsville. So I want to show you and explain a couple of things to you guys. Check it out. This is what it is. Okay, this is a, this is a bathroom from the apartment unit. This is the hallway. The bathroom consists of two little rooms. The first room was a sink room. There was a vanity right here and the sink would go here. The second little room with two separate doors, this is the first This is the first door into the sink room, and that's the second door into the shower and toilet room. So I finally picked up all of this old tile off the wall and off the floor. Let me show you guys what they used to do back in the days. This is a very old unit. I'm not sure how long ago, but back in the days, after the hardwood, I mean, after the plywood was laid down and you were ready to set either tile or hardwood or carpet or whatever. But back in the days, this is how they did tile. They used to put a black tarp, like the kind they use on the roof, supposedly for waterproofing. So that went down first. After that went down, they used to use mesh. It was a metal mesh, which is this mesh here. This used to go on top of the, the, the tar paper. After they did that, then they would lay an inch of concrete on top of that. So those are the layers that used to be here. It was a tar paper mesh and an inch of concrete. On, once that set, then on top of that, you would lay your tile. All right, so nowadays, they came up with this new material. It's not new anymore, but they, a while back, they came back with this stuff called Duroc, which is basically the same thing as all of that, but more advanced. Better chemicals, more strength, stronger, more durable, so, and um, lighter, all types of goodies. But that's what I'll be doing in here. Uh, when I redo it, I'm gonna remove all this old drywall that tile used to be stuck to and I'm gonna put new drywall on so that the The weather resistance paper on top of it because this got damaged when the tile came off So this is not really weather resistant anymore a little water gets on that and this paper So I'm gonna put that new green drywall on it so that it's about more uh, mold resistant, water resistant and stuff like that. But uh, all of this is gonna be upgraded to new material and the new way of doing things. Uh, this, I'll find out how old this building is and give you guys some dates and times if you guys are interested in that info. But uh, so now that I got this clear area, the sink area cleared up, I wanna do the toilet room. The toilet room had a piece of plywood, which I want to take off because I want this room, the vanity room and the toilet room to be at the same level. What it looks like is this was done afterwards. And the reason they did this was to, this was done first and this was a repair after. So they put this plywood to be level with the inch of concrete that used to be here. But now since this was the removed, I need to remove that so that it's a consistent level. And then I'll do that room and this room together and it'll all be one level tile. But I really didn't want to take off my toilet because that's what I use in case of emergencies. But I'm gonna remove this, remove that, remove the plywood, Remove those walls. Yeah, I mean the, cause I'm putting you, this is some sort of like uh, plastic laminate thing, which is only like an eighth of an inch thick. This was a repair that was done. Cause the tile was so old and it was breaking apart. So I took all the tile off and I did a, re a repair with this thin plastic. But now that it's time to renovate, I can remove everything and do it the right way. We will have nice new modern tile in here. Nice new modern tile in here. Again, I'll let you guys go. 
uh, so that I can take this off, take that out, take this plywood off, clean up my mess, take off those walls, take off that heater, clean up the mess, and then I'll be ready for the new stuff to start building. But uh, stay tuned so you guys can see the aftermath of that demo I'm about to do in that little toilet room. Y'all have a safe day. Take care. Stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Because that's what helps me do more of what I do. Have a good day, guys. Stay tuned.